Hello all. So today we'll learn how to create a hexagonal project in Rust. Essentially, we'll be creating a XM server um, to demonstrate how we can have an hexagonal architecture. Uh, we'll be using SQLite as a database and we'll hopefully have two services. So user and to-do will be our two services. Uh, they should have endpoints. So for this particular example, we'll be using PRK server. Uh, let's install that. So we have installed PRK server and we have defined our config.toml. Now let's create our architecture like this. So let's CD into our hex arc market microservice and do a cargo FMT. Yep. And then get in it. So this is good. Let's check the architecture for once. So we have our main. Uh, I think we might have to reload the window. Okay, so everything has been listed. Our application is divided into adapters, application, domain, and infrastructure. The HTTP part will be in adapters, HTTP, and then HTTP. Here is everything we have. So in the beginning, I mentioned that we will have two services, a user and a to-do. And we can see in our app state, we have user service and to-do service, right? Then we have all this function get users, post users, get to do's, post to do's, and then finally get to do by ID, whatever we have mentioned. So in Cargo Tomal, we mentioned that we'll have something like get to do by ID. Uh, yeah, this get to do by ID, it will have an ID of I32 that we have right here. Perfect. So this looks cool. We are right now handling five routes. Uh, we have our API routes here and we are adding it in the state. So this is also good, right? Now let's go into our database connection and let me quickly add the migrations. So our migrations would be uh, create database table if not exist to do's and create table users if not exist. So these are the three fields which are required at the moment, right? And finally, we are adding migration script here. So migration function, migrate function would be executed as soon as we connect to the database. That's perfect. Okay, now let's let's go into our repositories. So this is our to-do repositories. We are doing a fetch. Okay, we'll need to do something for create as well. So let query equals to uh, to do insert then insert task. So this should be body dot task dot clone. Uh, and then we'll also insert insert into description. So this should be body dot task uh, task description dot clone. Finally, build. Now we'll execute this query. So let uh, response equals to SQLX query, and then we'll pass in our query. So this will be passed. Uh, we'll simply execute the queries, and this is good. Now we'll get our ID. Uh, we need it to be as I32 and finally we'll have something like OK to do yes. this is good uh, insert into description Okay, so we have 
to manage since the description is optional we'll manage it right here let's crop this part let's call it mutable if body the description is some we'll do this otherwise we'll do this this would be unwrap and finally we'll do query dot build I don't think we need to set it terms okay then body dot description this is option and this is option so we might have to add a clone we'll have to have a clone here first and then unwrap it this is correct similarly let's go into our user repository and then create a user so let query perfect then this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect okay uh, power of LLMs okay so our infrastructure is set up uh, repositories are also set up our domain as you already know that we have two domains to do and user then our ports is to do repository and user repository so that is also correct in our application we are linking to do service with to, to do repository similarly user service with user repository this is also good uh, our HTTP is perfect I don't think we, okay so we'll start by implementing get users so this would be something like um, state dot user service dot get all dot await uh, await I think that should be it so this is good um, I think this should be user so this should be a vector this is vector so this is also vector of user and we'll do something like this and then this would be okay and this would be inside json perfect similarly we'll have post user so uh, user service then create user and then we'll pass in our body this is good then we are doing get to do's here so this also needs to be vector of to do's this is good then we'll have a post to do uh, yep this is also good and then we'll have a get to do by id if we go inside here find by id and do we have it in our SQL X so SQL X to do repository find by ID where ID equals ID so this is all sorted already uh, I think in our HTTP we are mostly done we are health and everything is under API and then all the APIs are here perfect let's do a cargo run meanwhile let's set up our thunder client okay so create a collection this new request 
okay so this should be something like http colon slash slash localhost column 3000 slash api uh, let's start with health so we got an ok in 4 milliseconds that's good let's save it uh, then we'll have a duplicate and then this should be our api slash uh, users right and this is empty at the moment correct let's rename this to API slash users and then we'll duplicate this and this would be a post call and uh, we'll create something like username password and then email cash at email dot com right this is post call fail to civilize json body or missing field id i don't think we will need it let's have an id anyways okay, so this is good and then if we do let's say john door then this would be john so we got two this is good and then if we get all the users we got both the users right and similar would happen for to do so let's have a duplicate and then this would be api to do's and then we'll have something like is it to do or it is is it task to do repository and then we have to do and it's task and description perfect so this has to be a task this is a create xm service and then it is a description so add a description and then we'll have a duplicate Then let's call it to do's and then have another duplicate uh, let's save it and rename it as uh, this has to be a get call to do's slash one yep so we got one and do we have a two not found so this is all good perfect okay so let's create the same application using actix web um, let's go to our config and then let's call it two and then use actix actix web so this is good and finally run prk server over here so it's generated let's cd into hex arc service 2 and then do a cargo fmt and finally get in it perfect so let's go into it uh, we'll have adapters and infrastructure exactly same I will go to infrastructure and then add the missing bits and pieces so let's go in here let's go to infrastructure repository I guess this is good so this is copied this is what 
to do repository that will paste the to do repository and user repository is also copied this is our user repository perfect now let's go to http okay and here we need to do something like yep so get users and this is a user uh, this has to be a vector of user and we'll do something like So this is good. Similarly, post users. I guess this is good also. Then get to do's. And this needs to be a vector. And finally, post to do's. And rest looks okay to me. Uh, database connection. So let's add our database connection. Perfect. I think I need to reload the window. Okay. Main is here again, will be running on 3000 port. And our services are all configured. Uh, we are here, so let's do a cargo run. Meanwhile, I think everything is already set up, so we won't have to worry too much about client. Uh, let's rename our services. So this is to do's. Uh, it would be to do's, then ID. This is good. Again, this is good. Uh, this is called API to do's. So, okay. Let's first check health. So, this K was okay. Uh, this is good then let's have uh, get users I suppose it's empty then we'll have should have let's create to do's uh, yep let's create to do's so we have created one to do uh, okay this is actix web and we created two and if we check two we get two check one we get one so essentially everything is working as expected okay thanks all happy coding